I'm going to start with, I've seen seven episodes of season four for All Mankind. I love the show so much. That's all I have on that. We'll talk about that at another point. <laughs> okay, so, sounds good. Uh, what's cooler, uh, working with Nicolas Cage or John Woo? Oof. That's, uh, that's quite a face-off. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's a hard one. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll ask a different question. Um, I know you're a fan of John Woo, so I am curious. What did it actually cost you? What did you pay to be in the movie? Yeah, no, the, the whole budget, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm the sole financier of this film, so... I mean, but for real, though, I, I know you're a movie fan. I know you're an action yeah. fan. What did it actually mean to you to work with someone like John? Because for me, I mean, this is my first time getting to talk to him today. I couldn't believe I was talking to him. Yeah. No, I know. Um, yeah, it, it, it was a bit of a dream come true. I, I had this conversation with uh, Basil Lewanik and Erica Lee. Um, and we, the producers of John Wick. And, and we just done uh, Informer. And, uh, and we all really wanted to find something new and, and Basil was like well look I got uh, this film John Woo wants to come back I was like what and, and I was like and, and it's a film that doesn't have any dialogue like okay I don't need to read that I'm in <laughs> what is it like though I want to be specific about this so obviously there's there's no dialogue you don't you don't speak in the film as an actor this is a pretty Par, a big part of a performance. So for you, what is it like on set where you're emoting just through your eyes and your facial expressions and you know what I mean? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, I had some friends that were joking around and they were like, oh, great, now we can get to hang out while we're shooting because you're not going to have to go home and learn your lines. Uh, and I was like, it's, I don't think it's going to be easier. Like, I don't think, and, uh, and, and I realized really quickly that um, it was a lot more demanding. Um, usually like the text and, you know, it, it sort of anchors you in the scene, but it also helps propel the emotions and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's really a crutch to, to sort of get emotionally and into the scenes. And, and also, of course, it helps you tell the story of the scene because you're saying things. <laughs> sure. Um, so I really quickly realized that I needed like a different level of emotional preparation before each take. So I also because this is the whole narrative here is so driven by this man's inner rage and, you know, the sadness and his fire and hatred. Um, so I, I really needed to like engage all that for every take. So it was it was uh, it was very demanding. When you were looking at the schedule and what you had to accomplish with the you know, what you had, what was the day you had circled in terms of this is going to be a real pain in the ass or I cannot wait to film this? Uh, I mean, I think I felt both of those things for most of the days. <laughs> um, I knew when we were going to shoot the, the stair sequence um, that that was going to be really rough because it's also in Mexico City, so it's at elevation. Uh, so running upstairs uh, is about twice as uh, tough there. The first time we did it, I was like, like I thought I was in good shape, but it's like I'm destroyed. Um, so that was that was a really heavy, tough, just physical sequence. Um, um, and and also I got, you know, we were shooting in some weird location, you know, some old parking lot building that was semi torn down or never finished to get built and we, when we were scouting it like all of a sudden you were like oh that's like a 90 foot drop so like <laughs> so maybe we should put a little sign here you know and there was like oh there's a big metal like thing just sticking out that you know could be someone's eye that disappears so there was a lot of work in just making it into uh, an environment where we wouldn't like die um you know going through with the film and you know a lot of the stunties were doing some pretty you know, tough stair falls in like narrow staircases and, you know, falling 15, 20 feet, you know, you just a little bit too much to the left and you bang your head uh, after a 20 foot fall and it's, you know, not a good day. So. Uh, that is the reason why uh, they don't let me do stunts because yeah. I would uh, die on uh, in yeah. one second. On that note, sir, it is always a pleasure to talk with you. I wish yeah. you nothing but the best. Loving the, the dog at the junket. Yeah. Uh, cool. Great to see you again, man.